I grew up with. My grandfather did this, my grandfather did that. Uh, but mostly the way when they start talking to me about it, said that he actually came over here in the uh, 1801, a little bit even before that, maybe in the 18, the last part of the 1800s. But he, op he opened a little bakery there and, and, uh, and they worked for a while and then things started going pretty good for him. So he decided to, uh, somebody, he decided he wanted some help and somebody told him, I know a guy that's really a good worker, but he lives in Italy, you know? And he lives in the same town you did, and his name is Joe Fazio. So my grandpa called there, called to Italy, and uh, they said, well, he's in Sandusky, Ohio right now with his brother, so that's good. You now, if he wants to do anything with you, he ain't got that far to go. So he called Sandusky, and my dad said, uh, yeah, he says, uh, you know, I'll, I'll come down and uh, they'll talk to you and see. So he came down to start working for him and things went real well with him. My grandpa said, why don't you go home and marry my daughter? Well, he never met my mother. And he says, well, you know, I, I, you're going to send me home and you want to pay. You know, I'll go home, I'll meet your daughter, but, you know, you got to take it from, from there, what happens? So he went there and bank, you know, they liked each other, and, and uh, so they got married in Italy. So they came, he came over to uh, America, and he started working for my grandpa. Well, my grandpa started having heart problems, and uh, one night he had a heart attack in front of the oven. Now my grandpa died right here, my dad told me. When he had his heart attack. So it ended up, my dad took over the bakery. When I was about maybe six years old, my dad decided that I was old enough to come and help him. And then when I uh, turned 13, he said, uh, they used to call me Sonny. Say, Sonny, you wanna learn how to drive? And I said, yeah. So he gave me about three or four lessons how to drive. He said, well, I think you're ready. I said, ready for what? He said, ready to go out by yourself and deliver in the morning. I was driving one day and we had uh, two customers right next door to the police station on Hampton Avenue. And we would pull in the alley and we would deliver them on their back porch. We would deliver the bread on the back porch. And the way we would deliver the bread to a lot of people is they would have a nail in the wall. And I would stick the bread on, on the nail. No, no wrapping, no paper, no nothing, just stick it down. And this is the truth, this is no baloney. And, uh, and we had stops like Joe Garagiola was one of our stops. Yogi Berra, who lived across the street, was another. So a buddy of mine said, Fox, he said, I went down to the draft board and we're gonna get drafted in uh, about three months. He said, why don't we join now? And we get out three months earlier. But anyway, uh, I got out of the Marine Corps and uh, my dad said, well, what are you gonna do? I says, well, I don't know. He says, well, why don't you come and help me a little bit? And he says, I'll try and sell the place. One day I came home, I was, I was working with him. I came home and I seen a guy there and he says he wants to buy the place. And I said, yes, you know, good. He said to me, you sure you don't want it? I said, I don't want it. And the guy's still there. And he looked over the guy and says, I can't sell. I can't sell. Said, yeah, sell it, Dad. I can't sell it. I'll just keep working till, till I can't work no more. So I went back to work for him. You know, and uh, then I got married. And then I had Chuck. And then I was. I just showed Chuck the book. I was making, what was I making? Huh? $53. Yeah, I was, I was making 71. I was taking home $53 a week. And I had a kid. I was gonna have a kid. So he says, take over the business. So I says, okay, I'll take over the business. So he sold me the bakery, the building, everything. 
and he came to work for me for a hundred dollars a week. So that bitch was only paying me seventy-eight. <laughs> no, but I, I said I'll give you a hundred dollars a week. Elizabeth, fifty-three forty-one. It's still if you go up there on Elizabeth, it's still got Fazio Bakery written on the window. Well, I used to, I used to, maybe. 11 o'clock, I'd go outside, we'd be waiting for a dough to get ready or something, and I'd sit on the back, a bumper of a truck there, and you could see the street and the people walking by, and, I, and I'd see friends of mine and their girlfriends walking down the street, and I figured, you know, I'm gonna be here the rest of my life looking at them. You know, I'll never, I'll never ever in my life be able to do that. And you know, I couldn't, I couldn't look out and see me doing anything. Look what my dad did. My dad did it until I got him out of it, you know? And I didn't think these guys were gonna get me out of it at that time. Although I would've killed them if they didn't. <laughs> you know, you figure we had one, when I took over, we had one station wagon, and now uh, how many trucks you got? 17, 18 trucks. Mm -hmm.